All right, so we're back out at the pizza oven. Got a fire going in here. Get a little closer. You can see it's burned down quite a bit. Uh, I'm gonna try doing a rotisserie chicken in here tonight with the rotisserie I made uh, that I showed in the last video. They did a pork roast. I'm gonna do a chicken today. So we have the chicken set up here. Uh, with just some seasoned salt on it, a little bit of garlic salt, and then below it I've got some potatoes cut up, uh, a little bit of olive oil to get them going, and then the fat from the chicken should drip off and fry them up really nice. I'll take it out about halfway through and uh, turn the potatoes so they're facing the fire, because I'm only going to have the fire on one side. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stir the fire around, get it off to the side, I'm going to throw some mesquite on it, and I also use some hardwood uh, edges that a local furniture store uh, cuts off and they leave them out for people to grab. So I grabbed a bunch of those a while ago and I use that to help keep the fire going. And we'll get back to it in a few minutes. So I'm going to turn off the rotisserie so it's a little bit quieter and I'm going to stick this in there so you can hear the fire and uh, the sizzle to be able to... everything's dripping down into the potatoes fire's going good, going hot and we'll get this turned back on and we'll see it just real quick good I'm going to say probably another hour or so. So I'm going to guess I'm about halfway there. I'm going to try pulling this out and turning those potatoes around so they have a chance to cook on the other side. Tight fit. Turn these around, drop them in there, make sure they're underneath, slide them back in. Fire up the motor, and we'll go another maybe 45 minutes or so, and I'll check the temp. So it's been about an hour and a half, and I'm going to check this see where we're at for temperature uh, in a regular oven it would probably be done by now uh, but this one the temperature fluctuates literally when the wind blows so skin's nice and crispy temperature is 165 and rising so it is technically done uh, internal temperature 165 is good for chicken uh, I'm going to throw it back in there, let these potatoes cook a little bit longer, and uh, let them crisp up a little bit. Finished product, roast chicken, about an hour and a half, pretty crispy skin, looks nice and juicy. Potatoes, to me, look like they could go a little bit longer. Uh, there's a fair amount of sort of like chicken jus, like chicken juice in there. And what I've done is I've taken an old grill grate and I've just raked the coals to the middle of the fire. And all I'm going to do is set those in there for maybe five or six minutes and that should crisp them up pretty good. Uh, and that'll save my pan from getting too charred. It's going to get a little charred but I've got a scouring pad so I think it'll be alright. Well that's it. So roast chicken uh, on the rotisserie in the pizza oven. Uh, wood fire and some roasted potatoes. You hear that sizzle? See that sizzle? Oh yeah. So thanks for watching.